Now, there are many forms of carnitine. Uh, there, you, you'll hear the terms uh, acetyl L-carnitine or uh, carnitine fumarate. There's carnitine L-carnitine tartrate. There's a very many, many different forms of carnitine. Is it important? To, does the form make a difference? Absolutely, absolutely. There are roughly about eight different forms of carnitine we, we manufacture. We've developed processes for all of these. And that essentially the body responds differently to different forms of carnitine. So an example is, is that carnitine base or the free base of carnitine, which has uh, been in the market longer than anybody, any other form, uh, is a very good uh, available form, highly available form of carnitine. It has some limitations in the way it behaves when it's put from you know, into a physical form like a capsule or a tablet. And so it's, uh, it can be somewhat challenging. We've also found, the research has shown, that the body will take that base and start to change it in the body to use it in different ways. And so what we try to do is get a leg up on Mother Nature by creating those, these various forms that will, will behave in different ways. What's an example? Well, an example is uh, uh, acetyl L-carnitine, ALC or Alcar, was a product that we developed first and that we have in the, in the market. And we found that um, acetyl carnitine, because it is, it's, it is uh, acetylated, is able to p pass from the bloodstream into the spinal canal, into the, past the blood-brain barrier. This is important because it's able to get to work on nerve and brain tissue. And so it's very much associated with nerve function and uh, good um, um, uh, awareness and cognitive uh, support and the like. Carnitine base, a certain amount of it, if you take it in, will be converted to acetyl carnitine, but it's a slow process and very little of it is converted. But if you take the pure form of uh, uh, acetyl carnitine or arginyl carn, um, you get this extra boost of carnitine that's able to pass the blood-brain barrier.